Hi there, welcome to this review of the Morphe Richards Power Steam Elite. First off, let's talk about the actual look and feel of this steam iron. As you can see here, this at the bottom is the base, you've got the iron on top, detaches like so. The actual, the base unit itself at the front here, if we detach this, this is the water tank. That bleed then was just to say that it's been detached. Let's pop that back in. If we give it a spin, you can see the controls are on the back of it. You've got the power button in the middle, a power light indicator, a water indicator, and your selection of different steam levels that you want uh, the iron to produce. So let's actually talk about it as an iron. Oh. That noise there was um, the water intake to produce a bit more steam. Um, but let's actually talk about it as an iron first. So as an iron I've used it on um, a number of different items, uh, mostly sort of work shirts and blouses. Um, it's been very good, it's a smooth iron, uh, very light if that's what you wanted to use it for. But I think the main reason why you probably look at something like this is for the steam function. So I'll walk you through it as a steam iron. So with just a click of a button, we have a lot of steam produced. That's it on its lowest setting. One of the features on the box is that it can actually produce steam at any, at any angle. Um, the picture on the box actually shows that it's steaming some curtains. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any curtains that need steaming, so I've not been able to test that function of it yet, but it seems to put out quite a lot of steam at different functions. So that was it's on its lowest setting. If we have a look at it on its highest setting, just click this button here, and as you can see on the back, you've got to wait a few seconds for it to flash, and as it um, slowly heats up. We'll come back to it in a minute, once it's reached the temperature it needs to produce that level of steam. As you can see on the back there, it's now at its highest level of steam. That took around 20 seconds for it to reach that level from its lowest to its highest. So let's have a look at how much steam it outputs. Hopefully you were able to see that it actually produces a lot more steam uh, than on its lowest setting. So overall, oh, that's that noise again. Overall, I find this a, a very good steam iron. Um, it is quite loud as you've heard throughout the video, but that's natural um, with it producing that amount of steam. Um, but the only downside that I found is that it is actually very large. Um, the base unit itself, I'm not too sure where I can store this, um, but it's a catch-22. The reason why it produces so much steam is because of this big water tank at the bottom. Um, if you don't have that big water tank, you're not going to get that amount of steam, you're just left with an iron basically. Um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend this, it's brilliant with clothing, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, this has been the review for the Morphe Richards Power Steam Elite.